Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited to be doing this video for you guys. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Welcome to this community that I am building for women, for Christian women, women of faith that are, you know, feel stuck in their situations. If you are married to a narcissist or that's or, or a man that uh, kind of demonstrates those narcissistic tendencies i want to support you i'm here to help you i'm here to inspire you to not be so stuck and focused on the pain and the struggle and and make you realize that that's just a part of your marriage it's it's not your entire life you know your marriage is one aspect of your life it shouldn't dominate everything else yes our marriage is important it is the foundation to our household but the reality is that if you have decided to stay with your husband and you know and you've already have, you know, made a decision that you you are not going to get a divorce, then guess what, girlfriend? We got to get through this. You know, I myself have decided I have chosen to stay with my husband for multiple, you know, reasons. Um, and one of them being that although he has demonstrated narcissistic tendencies, um, he has shown a lot of improvement for the glory of God. I know that it's God. I know that it's God changing his heart. I know that it is God molding him and shaping him. And I, I, I realize that we should not discard the fact that God can produce miracles. We can discard the fact that miracles do occur, that God can transform any heart, that he can change any mind but in his time, not in our time. But I want to help you navigate and I want to help you cope. You know, how do you cope with the sadness that you feel? How do you cope with the emotional numbness? How do you cope with that? You need to lit yourself on fire with the things that, that move you, that, 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 that bring the light in your eyes, you know, back. You need to do the things that make you feel alive. You need to focus your attention and channel all of your your emotions onto the things that bring you joy. I'm here to today. I'm just here to encourage you. You know, if you're going through something, if you're going, uh, if you've been struggling, you know, in your marriage, if you have had many arguments and feel that you're not heard, I'm here to tell you to stop trying to force things to happen. A narcissistic man, no matter how robotic you may sound or you may explain some something to them, they're not going to get it. You know, that's the reality. They're not going to get it. They might get it one day, but they're not going to get it. No matter how you say it, no matter how loud, no matter how, you know, how much nagging you do. And I'm here to tell you, you know, remove, shift your focus. We need to start learning how to shift our focus. This is not working. Okay, fine. This is not working, but let me focus on this. What do you like to do? Think about yourself. So often I talk to women and I feel that when we are so caught up in a marriage that is very destructive, that is very emotionally destabilizing, we forget that we are a person. <laughs> At least that happened to me. I forgot that I was a woman. I forgot that I'm not just a mom and a wife. You know, I am an individual with individual interests and and and, and unique abilities, gifts, talents, and creativity. And, and I'm here to tell you, you are called to create. Okay, when God designed you, he designed you to create and to, to, to dwell in a zone of productivity. You know, God began to create the earth and he rested one day. But he, he, he set the example of production. We are the happiest when we are producing, when we are moving in a realm of purpose. And that's what I want to encourage you guys to focus on. Focus on the things that drive you. What is it that you like to do? Creative downtime is very important. What is a creative downtime? Do you like to knit? Do you want to learn how to write a book? Do you want to be more in the kitchen and come up with new recipes? Are you taking care of your body? Are you taking care of the way that you eat? I need you to start shifting, stop thinking about what you don't have, what you lack, and you know what you don't feel, and that you don't feel loved, and that you don't feel valued. You need to shift your focus and say, you know what? I value myself. I love myself. I want to be healthy. I want to be, uh, uh, I, I want to have, I want to declutter my mind and detox my spirit. You need to think about you. Switch on, like switch on that, 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 that switch in your brain where, you know, that, that's been off. You're just off. And I want to, I'm here to help you. I'm here to encourage you. Try new recipes. Get on a new diet. Um, you know, go on uh, exercise uh, uh, with your friends, with your girlfriends, go for a walk, 
often create new habits it's so amazing for me guys honestly that's one of the things that has kept me going is the creation of new habits more writing more i help a lot of clients and many ministries write their own uh, their books their content devotionals prayer journals you name it um and i love i love working uh, in everything that has to do with uh, faith faith-based content um, so I in, I just literally inundate myself in all these wonderful things and it, it, it brings the light in my eyes and I am happy and I am joyful and I, I'm homeschooling my kids now and that brings a lot of joy into my heart. Um, and so I, I begin to think about those things. Guys, I need you to sing. If you like to sing, I need you to sing. I need you to, and it, when, as you're listening to this video, you don't have to sit down and listen to this video. I want you to put on this video while you're cooking, while you're washing dishes, while you're cleaning, while you're washing the tub. I need you guys to come on. Like you need to get up. It's time to get up. It's time to connect. You need to develop and establish a mind and body connection. What do you feel in your body? What do you feel you need healing? Do you need healing? I'm not just talking about spiritual healing, but do you, does your body need healing? Are you taking care of your of your health? I feel that we are so cons consumed when we are stuck in a bad marriage, that we are so consumed with the marriage that we neglect all these different areas in our life that are still here. You know, we're, we still have a body. We need to, I, I just started a new keto diet. And I really like it. Um, I have a lot of energy. I feel I'm in. I'm right now. I'm in ketosis, so uh, it's very exciting. Uh, I love the foods that I'm making. So it's 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 something new that I'm adding, you know, to my life. Another channel of focus, and that's what I I, I want you guys to understand. Create those channels of focus and creative downtime. What is your creative downtime? Do you guys have creative downtime? What is creative downtime? Like I said before, doing something new. Do you like knitting? Um, is there a hobby that you want to pursue? Is there a YouTube channel that you've always wanted to open, but you're like, mm, I don't think so. Do it anyways. And guys, you're going to hear some noise because I have my daughter coming here. Right now, you might hear noise in the background. That's my daughter. You know what? Do not think that you have to start a, a YouTube video and it has to be perfect. Smash the perfection standard. Smash the idea of perfection. You know, I, I, that's another thing. We do not have to live our lives according to the standards of others. If your marriage does not look like someone else's, screw it. It is what it is. You are not this mannequin that is supposed to look like everybody else. You are not. We're, I feel that we're living in a world of mannequins. Everybody wants to look the same. Everybody wants to live the same life. You know, if someone is happy and someone has something, then we have to match that happiness or we have to match what they have. We need to break those ideas and those belief systems. You have your life and your marriage is unique. Your life is unique. It's not supposed to look like anyone else's. So guys, think about that. Think about everything that I have just mentioned. Um, I pray I pray that you guys can unlock the things that drive you, the things that, that set your soul on fire because it will make a huge difference, guys. Stay tuned for my next video. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening. Thank you for subscribing and hitting the like button. Guys, God bless you. I'll see you soon.